Well, it'll be a real test on Saturday for Montana State as the Bobcats look to snap a four-game losing streak at home when the third-ranked Eastern Washington Eagles come to Bobcat Stadium. Eastern Washington is 5-1 with wins over FBS Washington State, FCS No. 10 Northern Iowa, and convincing conference victories over Northern Arizona, Northern Colorado, and UC Davis. The lone loss came in overtime on the road against five-time defending national champion North Dakota State. You certainly know about Eagle wide receiver Cooper Cup. He's arguably the greatest to play the position in FCS history. He holds 11 all-time NCAA records, and if he catches just one pass against Montana State on Saturday, he'll become the all-time leader in career receptions as well. Eastern Washington, however, is more than just a one-trick pony. Playing alongside Cup are fellow wideouts Shaq Hill and Kendrick Bourne, who are also among the top 10 receivers in program history. They're a three-headed monster in the passing game and have caused even the best defenses in the nation nightmares. New to the mix this season is sophomore quarterback Gage Gubrud. Number three on the depth chart last season, Gubrud's athleticism and ability to run the ball vaulted him to the starting spot after spring practice. In his first six career starts, the McMinnville, Oregon native has put up five of the top ten single game total offense numbers in school history. With Gubrud at the controls, Eastern Washington's offense leads the nation in points scored, total yards, and passing offense. Eastern Washington is nearly a lock to return to the FCS playoffs after missing the postseason altogether a year ago. A big key for the Eagle resurgence have been turnovers. In 2015, Eastern Washington was minus seven in turnover margin, but they're much better this season. Through the first six games, they've taken it away twice more than they've given it up. In racing to a two and one start, Montana State was the FCS leader in the turnover department. The Bobcats were plus 12 after the week three win over Western Oregon, but since then, it's been a real struggle. Montana State turned it over five times against North Dakota and four times apiece in the last two games against Northern Arizona and Weber State. To go along with that, the Bobcat defense hasn't been able to come up with a takeaway over the last couple of games. On the other side, Eastern Washington is 34-0 when winning the turnover battle since 2010. So if you're searching for one critical stat this week that could end up telling the story of the game, look no further than the giveaway takeaway numbers. It's Montana State at Eastern Washington Saturday afternoon. You can catch the radio broadcast all over the Bobcat Sports Network and on your smartphone using the TuneIn app. Join Dan Davies, Jason Alvin, and me for the pregame coverage taking the air at 11 o'clock with kickoff set for just afternoon. Reporting for MSUBobcats.com, I'm Jay Sanderson.